Hi folks, Richard Maybe here with Richard Maybe Presents. Um, it's Saturday, Saturday afternoon, and uh, I did watch the Western on Me TV this morning that, that features Alan Corby, Grandma Walton, as the editor of the newspaper, and it's called Trackdown. It stars Robert Culp. And uh, I, I, I really like the role that uh, Ellen Corby plays. Now, her personality as the newspaper editor <clears throat> is not that far from Grandma Walton. She's kind of spicy and feisty and, you know, that uh, little bit of pepper in her, you know. So I like this show a lot. Uh, I haven't really done any yard work at all today. Um, just a kind of a time to relax and reflect. And um, one of the things that I have on my agenda is to definitely work on my comic book collection. I want to get it organized better. And um, I just, it's, it's going to be a big job, but I really need to focus and get my comic book collection in, in organized a little better. Plus take an inventory. Um, the big comic book show is September 19th. And, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do uh, a spreadsheet or, or just write or just get a little notebook and write all everything I have because I go by, you know, like if I come across a Batman in the 50 cent or a dollar box, I'll just get it. And, I, and then a lot of times I end up with a double, but that's okay. You know what I mean? But not that often, but, um, oh, I did get an email. Uh, from someone that said maybe I should work on my backdrop and I'm out here in the garage and uh, I kind of wanted to create that down-to-earth feeling but you know I'm thinking maybe I should create a better backdrop for my little YouTube show um, also I'm thinking about um, Selling off a part of my, some of my comic books to buy a better camera. I use my, um, I use my cell phone now. Or at least uh, they have the holders for the cell phone. Because um, I, <laughs> I end up doing this, you know, like, oh, 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 oh you know. A lot of times so that's on the agenda and um, I think that the only thing I'm going to do today for the rest of the day what is it now it's 1 30 in the afternoon is to um, clean the clean the interior of the car vacuum the car and then uh, clean all the windshields and that kind of thing. Maybe um, clean the wheels really good because when you go to the car wash, it's well-meaning, but they don't really clean the wheels as good as I like to see them cleaned. Um, there I go again, <laughs> but it's so funny. I get my fingers in the way. Um, it's hard to hold the phone with one hand all the time. And... Um, I'm Irish and English, but I talk with my hands a lot. I never realized it until I have to hold the camera how much I talk with my hands. Let me see what else I wanted to cover. Oh, uh, I forgot to check which movie Sven is showing tonight. I, I just, I really like Sven -Gooley. He's on at, um, me, on MeTV. 8 o'clock on Saturday nights. And they play, he plays 
I love it when he plays those old black and white uh, monster films, you know, um, for the Frankenstein, the mummy, those classic, uh, the invisible man, all those classic monster flicks. I love them. And sometimes he shows those made for TV horror films, science fiction thrillers from the 1970s and 80s that are in color and they were made for TV films. They're okay, don't get me wrong, but I really like those old um, black and white um, films from the, uh, from the 30s and the 40s. Uh, Werewolf, you know, I just like them a lot. Opie is somewhere here in the garage. And I'm going to see if I can find him and we'll get a little uh, film time with Opie. Honey, he's uh, my little makeshift backdrop set here. He's on top. Opie! Shh. Opie! Shh. Opie! Shh. Opie! Shh. Opie! He's so cute. Opie! He loves these Santa Clauses, and uh, he's just really cute. Opie, no, don't jump. Opie, don't jump. Opie, come here. He's so cute. Good boy. He is such a good cat, I'll tell you. But don't, no, don't, don't knock it over. He's a character. He knocked over my Santa Claus. Ah, uh, he's so cute. He loves these Santa Clauses. Here. What's that? Oh, looks like someone's walking by here. There's someone's walking by. They probably think I'm nuts. Crazy filming my cat. <laughs> and then talking to myself. Opie. Shh. Opie. It's interesting, Opie. Opie gets more fan mail than I do. <laughs> Opie! Uh, I'm thinking about setting Opie up with his own uh, YouTube channel because he's, he's very popular. People love him. <laughs> Opie! Opie! Say hello to the people. <laughs> Opie! Opie! Say meow. <laughs> oh, ouch, that hurts. Opie! Opie, he's so cute. Opie. 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 <laughs> he's so cute. Don't knock my Santa Claus off, please. I'm on the, but your, your old pops is on the budget set here. But I'm going to work on getting a better set, background set. I'm probably the, the most makeshift YouTuber on the whole YouTube. You know, I'm just an old retired guy with Social Security and his AT&T pension pumping out these uh, YouTube films. There it is. What a great... Ah, oh, look how cute. Adorable cat. He is so cute. He's, he's a gem. I'll tell you. All right. Let me, um, let me clip off with my buddy Opie here, and then I'll come back. It is here. And at any rate, um, I'm learning um, how to film with... Uh, with my phone so sometimes it comes upside down but it's a learning process and and those of you who are my core viewers you know you understand I'm, I'm learning this but I, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna 500 pieces I think I might put this together here I got a folding table here and uh, you know every day work on it a little bit before I do my taping and then I can tape it to see the progress here.
kind of a fun thing. I just so hope that uh, I hope that Opie doesn't jump on the table and, and wreck it all the time. It might be a good thing. It might, you know, I, I got to confess, I don't have a lot of friends here, and um, I don't have a. You know, you you get you retire, and uh, you don't have a lot of folding money in your in your wallet. But I think I might do this. Might be a fun thing. It's a nice, a nice little background there. A couple of trees, mountains, pine trees in the forefront, grass. Yeah, I might give this a try. Yeah, I was going through the blue tubs that I used for my background, and I found this puzzle. I don't know. I'm going to go this way. I'm trying to... When the numbers, no, that's, the numbers are backwards that way too. Um, the last time I did this with my scalp patch, it was upside down. So I'm trying to figure out how do you tell if it's right side up? Hmm, I got an idea. So uh, this wraps up another exciting episode of Richard Maybe Presents. Uh, never a dull moment here. Uh, I think I am going to start putting that puzzle together and I'm sure I'm sure my viewers and my fans will get a kick out of it seeing it progress you know uh, as I build as I put that puzzle together kind of a fun thing uh, so I'll wrap things up and uh, please if you would please hit the like button and uh, please subscribe oh I forgot to mention I'm uh, growing my beard yeah I'm growing the beard so it'll be interesting to see how it comes in. And if I don't like it, I'll just shave it off, you know? Uh, maybe I'll, I'll get my uh, feedback from my viewers and fans, see if they like, like just uh, like the beard or don't like the beard, that kind of thing. Let me see what else I got. Um, uh, that's about it. So I used to do the Roy Rogers thing but I'm not so sure. Maybe he has a cop. He had a copyright on that, the Happy Trails thing. So I don't say that anymore. So, uh, oh, subscribe! Please do subscribe. I appreciate that. So for now, until my next video, video, stay safe and stay positive. Till then, bye, folks.